एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यू इन आर टूडे सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हैंडलिंग एक्सेप्शन इन पाइथन इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन वी लर्न वॉट आर एरर्स दैट कैन हैपन इन पाइथन वॉट आर टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एरर्स दैट कैन हैपन वी हैव सिंटेक्स एरर वी हैव अ लॉजिकल एरर्स सिंटेक्स एरर्स आर द वन दैट कैन नॉट बी हैंडल वाइल लॉजिकल एरर्स आर द वन दैट कैन बी हैंडल सो टूडे इन आर दिस सेशन वी विल बी लर्निंग हाउ दीज एरर्स कैन बी हैंडल वॉट आर दीज एरर्स प्लस वी विल बी लर्निंग हाउ इट कैन बी हैंडल So first of all, let's have a look on errors that can be handled in Python. So there are few uh, errors that I have enlisted that can easily be handled in Python. Some of them are zero division error, type error, name error, index error, value error, key error, module error, and import error. We will be discussing what are these errors, at what time these errors occur. First of all, and then we will be learning how to handle these. So first of all, talking about our zero division error here. Now, when does the zero division error happen? Let's understand that. Before that, if you want to become a successful data analyst and if you want to learn from our experts live, then you can call on the given number or you can fill the form that is provided in our description. Not just that, with our every batch, you will be getting two demo classes for free. So our first case is zero division error. Now, as the name suggests over here, that zero division error means when a number is divided by zero. Suppose we have considered a case of two variables. Let's say a is equals to five and b is equals to zero, and we have written print a divided by b. We definitely know that a divided by b cannot happen. A number cannot be divided by zero, which will generate what? Which will generate our zero division error. So this is our zero division error at this position at these type at this type of condition our zero division error might occur. Okay, next we will be discussing about next type of error that we have over here that is the type error. Type error. When does this type error occur? Type error occurs when you try to add a string with a float, add a string with a integer. Let's say you have taken two variables over here. A is equals to inside the string you have written one, two, and three. And here inside the B, you have written an integer one point two three. Now, if you print a plus b over here, then it will generate a type error that this type cannot support. This type is not supported. Where a inside a we have a string, and inside b we have an integer. This is our type error. This type of error can also be handled. We will be learning this later. First of all, let's understand what these errors are. Nextly, we will be talking about index error. Now, what is index error? For example, here we will be considering a case of a list. When this index error can happen, suppose we have created a list over here which has few elements. Let's say apple, mango, and banana. And now, if I try to print l inside the square bracket, we know apple exists on zero number, mango exists on number one, and banana exists on number two according to our indices. But still, if I try to write three over here, what will happen? It will generate a error that is called as index error. So here, because this index does not exist, this index is not there in our whole list only. So our range stops at number two, but we are still writing number three, and it does not exist over here. That's why it will generate a index error. Next, we'll be discussing about the name error. What is name error? Let's understand that name error. When suppose we have created a function, the definition add, and here we have written print nine plus eight. And while calling the function, what we have written, I have written a uh, subtract. Open close the bracket. Now this thing, what this thing will do? It will generate a name error. Why name error? Because this name does not even exist. So there will be an error over here, which will be our name error. Next error over here would be a value error. For example, you have taken a user input that a is equals to int input, and you have written enter your height. Okay. Now let's say a person wants to a person uh, wants to write five point six over here in in uh, in height instead of writing a five or six over here. So if a person tries to write five point six, it will throw an error that because it is not an integer, it's a float over here. So what that kind of error would be? That would be our value error where it is not a integer, it is a float. Or maybe if a person has written it in the form of a string in this way, like five six. So this will also generate a value error over here because this would be then called as a string, and here we are taking the input as an integer. Next, we have a key error. What is a key error? Let's discuss that. First of all, uh, let's create a dictionary A. Inside A, we have name, name a uh, colon John, and we have John's gender. That would be male. Now here, what I want, uh, if I want to print A. And inside the square bracket, if I write age, 
what it will do it will generate me a key error why it will generate me a key error because h key does not even exist if i would have written over here name it wouldn't have generated any error but because if I, because i have written age over here which does not exist inside this dictionary that means it will generate a key error for us moving ahead next we have is a module error let's understand what is module error so module error is when you write when you import a wrong module now that you have written import to call a module but you have imported a module which does not even exist suppose you have imported uh, wsq but it does not exist only so what it will do it will throw us with an error called as module not found that means it's a module error the module that we have written over here does not exist that's why it will throw a module error for us lastly we have a import error now when does this import error occurs suppose we have a module over here we have a module file okay we have created a file of module inside it we have written, we have created a function that definition add and inside i have written print 9 plus 8 and here what i have done uh, i have in my main file i have written from module so whatever the name of the module would be let's say the name of the module is um demo and here i have written from demo import subtract okay so now subtract does not even exist but still i'm calling for it this will be what this will be our import error this thing will throw our import error where we will call a function of a module which does not even exist inside the module this will throw what our import error now what we will be doing now we will be discussing uh, how to handle all these kinds of errors one by one let's have a look on how it can be handled now how in python an error can be handled it can be handled with the help of a try and accept block over here we will be using the try statement and we will be using the accept statement to handle our errors that inside our try statement we will be writing the code in which the error might occur for example if we are taking the uh, condition of zero division case then uh, we will be writing our code which might throw an error that means we will be writing our uh, 10 divided by 0 inside our try block and inside the accept block inside the accept statement we will be writing our message that needs to be executed when an error occurs so that in that way the error will be handled let me show it to you with the help of an example over here so first of all considering a case of zero division error i'll be writing over here zero division error so what we will be doing i'll be creating a variable over here that uh, number one is equals to int input enter a number here and number two is equals to int input enter another number here okay after this what i will be doing i'll be printing the division of these two so i'll be writing print number one divided by number two okay and lastly i'll print thank you right let's run and see what will happen right now see here if i write enter a number here inside it i'll write 12 inside over here i'll write 3 and gives me 4 and thank you now here purposely i'll try to generate an error how I will be writing 12 divided by 0. So here it gives me a 0 division error. It's th it throws me an error and our next part of the code that is print thank you. It is not getting executed over here. Why it is not getting executed over here? Because it stopped over here only. In Python what happens? It executes one line of code at every time and as soon as there is an error it stops the program over there. It will stop executing the next line. It exactly stops wherever the error is there so here it stopped wherever the error occurred and it does not execute the next part of the code so here to avoid this kind of things happening so, so suppose in some part of a code there is an error that occurred now how we will be handling it and moving ahead with the next part of code we will learn that so as i told you that our try statement is used and inside the try statement we write our code that might have an error so here uh, what i'll be writing i'll be writing try i'll put a colon and inside it and inside it i'll be writing my block of code which uh, might have an error okay now this thing might have an error but we know that the error will be generated over here by writing a zero now how to handle that error we will be writing except over here so inside it i'll be printing my message that uh, zero division error okay after this i'll be printing my thank you
Now let's run and see what happens when we run this program. Let's say it asks for a number. I'll write 12 over here. I'll write 3. It works normally how it is supposed to work. But at the same time, if I purposely try to generate an error over here, if I write 0, it will still work. It will still write over here 0 division error and it will still move to the next part of the code. Previously, it was not going to the next part of the code because there was an error and the program stopped over there. But here, except what except is doing that whenever there is an error and that error has been defined, we are telling them that there could be an error in this one. What error it could be, we are also displaying that message over here. So it, it has been handled over here and our Python is executing the next line of the code over here. Now this is what zero division error is. This is an example of how we can handle a zero division error. Moving ahead, let's understand how we can handle type error. I'll be giving a heading over here, type error. So let's understand type error over here. I'll be uh, creating a variable called as a inside it. I'm writing a string 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'll be creating a vari another variable b, b is equals to 1.23 which is a float over here. Now what I'll do, I'll try to uh, add both of them. So I'll be writing a plus b over here. Uh, let's run and see what happens over here. If I run it, it's giving me a type error and I need to handle it. So to handle it, what I'll be doing, I'll be writing this thing inside try and what uh, we know that it, it will be a type error over here. So what we can do, we can write except and inside we can print the message that there will be a type error. Type error. Occurred. Now if I run it, see it has been handled properly and if I try to print anything outside over here, print, thank you, and run it. So that has been handled and we have got a thank you over here. Now uh, one more thing is over there, uh, if you don't want to customize these messages, if you don't want these messages to be customized, what you can do over here, you can write uh, accept uh, type error, you can already see the type error is written over here, you can choose it type error as uh, any variable let's say uh, k and instead uh, over here writing type error occurred you can write k over here and as soon as I run it the python will automatically create a customized message by itself here we don't have to write it by ourselves python automatically creates a customized message by itself and that will be cannot uh, can only congregate string not float or uh, strings over here so here it's throwing us a type error and also telling us that what uh, what is a customized message that we have created, what is the problem over here. So totally up to you if you want to generate, uh, if you want to customize a message by yourself, you can customize a message by yourself. If you want Python to customize it for you, yes, that option is also available. So you can do it in both the ways. Next we'll be moving ahead and talking about name error. Let's see what is name error and how it can be handled. I'll be writing name error over here. For name error, as I told you, if you create uh, something that uh, that does not even exist, whose name does not even exist, then yes, it throws a name error. For example, if I have written definition addition, inside if I try to print 9 plus 8, while calling this function over here, I'll write subtract and open close the bracket. Now, if I try to run it, it generates a name error that name is not defined over here. So how to handle it is very simple. You write it inside a try block and here uh, inside the accept, you will be writing name error as k and print k. And lastly, I will be writing print thank you. And if I run it, you can see uh, name subtract is not defined over here. It is throwing us with a customized message that it has created by itself and our program did not uh, and our program did not stop over there and our thank you is working over here. This is our name error. Next we'll be talking about index error over here. Let's see what is index error, how, how index error occurs and how it can be handled. So I'll be writing index error over here. For index error we simply need a list over here. So I'll be considering an example of fruits. Fruits is equals to inside the list I'm going to write apple, mango and banana. Okay. If I try to print over here uh, fruits. I know that on index 0 we have apple, on index 1 we have mango, on index 2 we have banana. But if I write, try to write number 3 over here and run it, you will see it will generate me an index error which says list index is out of range. That uh, no such index exists over here. Whatever index we have written, it is not there inside a list. That element is not there inside a list. Now how it can happen? Uh, the user can, you, the, if you are asking the user to ask for any element, to access any element, it writes a number that does not even exist. And that, this kind of errors might happen. And to handle it, we will be using our try block over here. 
So I'll be writing try. Inside, I'm going to pass this statement. And in the except, I'll be writing name error as k. And I'll be printing this k. So now, if I run it, in the except, in the except, we will be writing our index error. So index error as k. And if I print uh, k over here and try to run it, we will get our output in uh, list index is out of range, which is a customized message from our Python. And at the end, we have printed thank you. So this was about our index error. Moving ahead, next with us, we have a uh, value error. Let's understand what is a value error. First of all, I'll be creating a variable called as a. Here, I'll be asking for an integer. Input. Enter a number here. Okay, I have taken the input in integer, but suppose here uh, when I print it, print a, there uh, might be a value error occurring. How it will be occurring? Suppose I, instead of a number over here, I have written a float 1.23. If I write it, it says it is a value. Uh, it is a value error in invalid literal for integer with base in 1.23. That means this. Uh, we have asked for an integer, but we are writing a float in written. Or suppose if we are writing a string also in written. Suppose if I have written hello. So in that, in that case also it will generate a value error that we are asking for an integer over here. But at the same time we are getting uh, the input as a string or let's say uh, as a float over here. So that would be a value error over here to handle it. Again, we will be using a try block on the top. So try inside the try, we will be writing our code. In the except, we will be printing our message. So it's a value error. So yes, you can use a customized message over here. So value error as k. And then I'll be printing my k. So as soon as I run it, it gives me, uh, suppose I write 1.23 over here. It gives me invalid literal for integer with base 10 and 1.23 and thank you message is there. That means a customized message has appeared for a value error that what value error has occurred. What is the mistake over here and yes, it has continued with our next part of the code. So this has been handled over here. Next, we'll be talking about the key error over here. Let's understand how key error occurs. So for key error to occur, we will be creating a dictionary of people. People is equals to inside a dictionary, I'll be writing name, call, John, comma, age, call, 23, right. Now here I will try to print people and inside the square bracket, I'll be writing age. So if I run this, this will work smoothly that it will give me a age 23. That means the value of a key uh, 23. Over here, but at the same time, if I write, try to write a key which does not even exist. Suppose if I'm writing a gender that is that does not even exist, that key does not even exist in our people. In that case, if I run it, it will throw me an error that there is a key error. Key error is what gender that gender does not exist. This key does not exist over here. To handle it, again we will be using our try method over here. So try. And inside it, I'll be adding this part of the code in which the error might occur. And inside the except over here, I'll be writing my message that it's a key error, right? So we can customize, get it customized that key. It's a key error as k. And we will be printing our k over here. So as soon as I run it, now it gives me that there is a gender, that this gender is an error over here. And you can print thank you. So this error does not actually look like an error to me. So what I'll do, I'll write except over here. And I'll write... Uh, key does not exist. So whenever you feel there is a need of writing the message by yourself, you want to define that what message should be displayed. Yes, you can definitely uh, try it and write any message that you want to write over here. So I'll be writing key does not exist. And then uh, we can write thank you directly. Next, we'll be moving ahead with our next error over here that we are going to handle. That would be our module error. Let's see what is a module error. So module error occurs when we are trying to import a module which does not even exist. Suppose if I try to import WS cube. I know that WS cube does not even exist over here but still I'm trying to import it and when I try to run the program it gives me that module not found error. This means this, this is a module error that whatever module we are writing over here, whatever module name we are writing over here that does not exist in our libraries or that has not been created also. So for, to handle it, again, we will be creating a try block over here. Inside the try, I will be writing this. And here, with our except, so module not found, 
as k so these are the perks of using pytorch that uh, you don't have to write it by yourself you don't have to write all these things by yourself you get everything over here you just have to write the first initials and directly you get uh, everything over here so i'll be printing k and as soon as i run it it gives me no module named ws loop so it has told us that what is the error over here and it has moved ahead with the code so i try and accept is working over here lastly we will be handling our last exception over here that is the import error let's see what is the import error for import error what i have done for import error i have created a demo file over here inside this demo file inside this demo module i have uh, uh, two functions that is add and subtract over here now what i'll try to do from this module i will try to import multiply multiply i know that multiply function does not even exist over here but if but if still i'm trying to import any function that is not even present inside the module then it will throw us an import error let's see how it can be done if i write from demo import multiply right let's run and see what happens it says import error cannot import name multiply from demo why it cannot import multiply from demo because it does not even exist over there so again what we will be doing we will be writing our try over here inside it i'll be passing this statement and inside the except we will be writing import error so i'll be choosing import error over here as k so put a colon and print k over here so as soon as i run it now it says cannot import name for uh, multiply from demo because there is no function multiply that exists in our demo module that's why it's throwing us an import error over here and that has been handled by us by using our except block so guys these were the enlisted errors that we had and we learned how to handle all of them i hope you guys have no doubts and no questions and now you have understood that how when a error is generated in a python when a logical error is generated inside a python how those kinds of errors can be handled by using our try and except block so in our next session guys we will be discussing some problems related to it and stay connected i'll see you in the next session thank you